I would like to show you this amazing work by Mozart. Um, we actually started with this, so we're going to go through this real briefly, um, not for too long. So here is, of course, Symphony Number no. 40. And then the second subject starts. Okay, so let's look again. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what he's using to convey his ideas. So here's this murmur going on. And the basses are just kind of punctuating it, right? Again, one of those slightly lilting, elevating, um, up in the air kind of feels. All right, and, and here comes the melody. You see, just the strings are starting this, and uh, of course the string section is, is, is the most, you know, most melodic, most, most gut-wrenching, if it can be, because they literally played on guts, okay? They would scrub horse tail hair on an animal gut and amplify it with a wooden resonating body and that would be a string instrument. All right, so here are all these guts playing, right? All right, this is interesting. This is an intonation of a sigh, so ah, uh, but together with this note, it actually makes almost like a fanfare sigh. So we're not necessarily complaining, all right, we're actually telling something. This, and then of course, as a good melody would do, we fill in this gap as the, um, as it drops. All right, and then, same thing repeats as a sequence, which means it's shifted in pitch. Nice, right? Then we have All right, and that's our phrase. So what we have here is, is, is a very um, speech-like construct, okay? Nothing is really fully square, like even the beginning of it, right? So the violas start and the bass is da -da 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 -da. Right, and we don't know where the strong beat is, where the weak beat is, but the melody immediately comes in and it's, it, it, it feels suspended. We, we don't feel like, like one is, is very strong. Okay, so now, um, here. Now, this is very operatic. This is something that um, composers would use in theater, right? Da -da -dum, da -ba -ba -bum, bum, ba -ba -bum, bum, ba -ba -bum. So it's a fanfare, but it's also, it may be some big king coming in uh, like this. Um, with his big walking stick and saying, this is how it shall be, something like this, like a decree, all right? But then the asking theme comes back, of course. Now, when this happens, we already know it's going somewhere. And then if he was a sort of a third-rate composer, a second-rate composer, he might go, something like this, but he doesn't do this. As soon as that modulation happens, everything just breaks loose. Wow, right? So all of a sudden, we just have this amazing explosion of, of everything. Great. Um, now,
Now that's insistence, okay? Etc. And then the second theme comes in. And then the second theme takes us through the end of what we call exposition. All right? Now, but when the development starts, what do we have? So now, our original key was this. So when the development comes in, it comes in exactly a semitone lower, just a slight hair lower, the lowest interval on the keyboard. Um, and it, it just sounds very squished, you know? And he's actually using instrumentation. For those of you who understand orchestration, you will see that he includes the bassoons here. Uh, He's using this chord, right? And the bassoons come in with their kind of somber timbre, eh, eh, like this, right? So, so, it's, so everything is kind of painful all of a sudden. And then, of course, as Mozart would do, the next pages go like this, right? Uh, like this, right? So, so he develops this. And then, of course, when he comes back to the main theme, it plays more or less like, like it did before, but at the very end, um, he still goes into this kind of a mode to finish the piece. Mm -hmm. 